How's it going, NBC Nation? Welcome back to a brand new video. This video is gonna be called "What Makes a Gur What Makes the Perfect Supervillain Origins." What makes the perfect supervillain, basically, based on the origins? Uh, my dog's walking around, so you're gonna hear some dog noises. Um, but back to the video in hand. What makes the perfect supervillain origins, or what? Basically, what makes the perfect supervillain origins? So, the perfect supervillain. Is there one out there? Is there a perfect supervillain out there? Yes, there is. There's a lot of good supervillains. Like, for example, Joker has such a good character. For example, his character is... He was supposed to die in the first... Um, meeting with Batman when, there, when he first was released in 1940... But he didn't. He didn't. He was a bad guy already. He was part of a gang. And then he just became a supervillain by falling into a bat of acid, you know? That's some good origins right there. He starts out evil. He continues to be more evil. And he runs an evil empire. His name is unknown. That's... That's another good thing about a supervillain, in my opinion, is the name is unknown to everybody. No one knows his name. Not even his own crew knows his name. His own henchman knows his name. That's what makes a perfect supervillain. Another... Let's get into the origins already. So, what makes a perfect What makes a... What makes a perfect supervillain? Well, first off... Perfect supervillain, in my opinion, is how their story starts, the origins of the story. Traumatic events is one thing that makes a perfect supervillain. A perfect supervillain always starts out with traumatic events. Every supervillain story that you've read has some sort, and probably some superhero stories, have some sort of traumatic events that happen in their life. And that's one thing that makes the perfect supervillain. Is. Do they. Use those tragic events. To make an empire. Or. Do they make the use those tragic events to make. Themselves. Fight for justice. Like Batman did. You know for example. That's what makes Batman a good superhero. Well vigilante. Because he fights for justice, but his own justice. That is one good reason, one good way to make a perfect supervillain is traumatic events or life changing events. Let's go to number two life changing events. Let's talk about life changing events. So, life changing events can be anything from a death in the family, uh, a loved one, body. Alternating events as well, like mutation that changes their life, like Killer Croc, for example. He turns into a croc because of his skin condition. He was born with a skin condition. That's a life-changing event. And skin condition makes his skin all scaly. A bane, he has to have Titan to survive. He cannot survive without Titan. If he takes off the titan that's a life-changing event he has to have something to survive Vic, uh, victor freeze he has to be in temperatures below zero he can't be in temperatures below zero he can't leave the suit or he will die that is another good supervillain right there i really like mr freeze victor von freeze let's go to number three in my opinion for what makes a good supervillain? What makes the perfect supervillain? Super being really smart, being really intelligent. Like Victor Von Doom, for example, he is very intelligent. He's a doctor. A lot of supervillains are doctors because, and that's what turns them into a supervillain: being a doctor. They doing they're doing experiments and it changes their life. That goes to number two, life changing events. See when you get a doctor when you have 
when you are a doctor, you're very smart. To be a doctor, you need to be very smart anyways. Like, you... Not for real life, but in supervillain world, yeah, they're really smart. In real life, you anyone can be a doctor. That's what I'm saying. But in supervillain world, anyone can be a doctor too in the fictional world. But back to, because all these supervillains, you know, were fictional characters. <laughs> if that happened in real life, oh, the world would be in real danger. But having... Mass intelligence is one thing to make that makes a good supervillain, in my opinion, that makes the perfect supervillain, is having really mass intelligence, having big brain, basically, having a real, being really smart and knowing everything. Like Taskmaster, for example, has no powers, but this dude is such a good supervillain because he can predict moves. That's he's he uses his vast intelligence to predict. The moves of the people that he's fighting. That's one thing I enjoy about Taskmaster is that he's very smart and he uses that to his advantage. He uses his mass intelligence to his advantage. And last but not least, to make the perfect supervillain always a step ahead. They plan everything out. They're not just going willy-nilly and doing it on the fly. Everything is planned out. If you have a supervillain where they have a plan, where they have blueprints, where they make their own base, where you don't know where their base is going to be located because they keep changing bases, you have a good supervillain. Everything's planned out. I like when supervillains plan something out for a month or for a week or for two weeks, three weeks, and it goes perfect until they're stopped at the end. Every plan is perfect until, you know, the superhero stops them. If you have a supervillain that's not planned out for a perfect supervillain, what makes a perfect supervillain? If it's not planned out, it's not gonna it's not good for that. It's not it's not, it's not good for the villain, you know? You're gonna get stopped every time. When you're not stopped every single time, you know you have a good supervillain. When your plan goes per like for example, spoilers by the way, Thanos. He was, planning, he was planning the Infinity Gauntlet for years, and he finally got it, and that went perfect. That's why I liked That's why I liked Infinity War, because his plan went perfect. He planned it out. That's what makes Thanos a good villain. He, that build-up to him as well from all those movies was such a good build-up because... All the universes are not are in the same. All the movies are in the same universe in the MCU. By the way, if you didn't know that, they're just, they're basically going on at the same time. But that's why I like Thanos. That's why I like Joker. Everything's planned out with them. Those villains, and that's pretty much it. That's my of my opinions on what makes a perfect supervillain. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, press the share button, press the like button, press the red shiny subscribe button, press the bell so you're notified every time I upload a video. I'll see you guys next video. Goodbye.